<laughs> so the rumours and stories about you are true. Heard of me, but you forgotten, or perhaps chose to forget that I was the one who led the way for you, you and your brothers and sisters. I was the first of our kind to become the best, but no, I wasn't. You soon came into being and took that place. I was too young to even know you. Besides, we never spoke, nor were friends. So, how can you say all that? All I know of you is that you kept lonely, but always smiled to everyone. But I guess you never liked that in the inside, were you? The last time I was told about you is that you went to Sodor, and that was it. You became nothing more but a forgotten memory. But Timothy, you do know that I'm the last of my surviving brothers and sisters. I still live because I'm important to people. I was special and had the pride of a tank engine. Something that you once had before. Or, and before you came this evil and twisted freak of misery. A dark side of a near mirror image of my very self. I carry the memories of that fact that my own kind was most likely wiped out and I was the only one to survive. That scarred me for life. I lost everything. The feelings of love of that made me and my brothers and sisters had for each other as a family. It was all destroyed. I've hidden all this away. But until now, with you doing all this haunting and terrifying the branch line, and now at last seeing you in person, has brought all of those memories back? That's right. All the memories you want to forget. All the feelings you didn't want to accept. You have to remember me. Let's suffer together. Suffer with me. No, I won't allow you to. My friends told me all about your past. You killed yourself for nothing. All for nothing. And you wasted yourself. The truth of your demise is just that, or was, the fact that you somehow grew tired of yourself and decided to end your life that way. Shut up! Shut up! You don't know anything! You don't even know the real truth! That was not everything! That wasn't the end! Don't you think you know what happened? Just because you heard about my haunted past, Thomas! You don't know my suffering! You don't know sorrow. You don't know the faces that trembled in fear, even though they were innocent lies that met cruel ends to their lives. The terrifying pleading from my driver, telling me not to go over the cliff. The passengers who went with me. The men. The women. And the children. They all died with me. The negative emotions I had boiling up inside me and my own self forced that suffering into me. All the hate, paining, and sadness, and that suffering, yet I have to continue to live with it. So yet, how can you say that you think and pretend to feel all those terrible things I did and understand me at all? I can tell you're in pain and in deep suffering and I want to know the real reasoning of all this, Timothy. What made you go to such tragic lengths to do what you did? None of my brothers or sisters of the E2 class ever did this. Tell me, Timothy, what caused you to kill yourself? Tell me! Thomas. The truth of my demise will never be known by those who are told for I took that with me along with my victims but all of them except one were unfortunate all but one 
You're saying you had an enemy who hated you? You see, I was only a prototype for the rest of the class of E2 class when we were introduced in 1913. I was used a lot and showed that we could be useful and reliable. I, on the other hand, was never to have had a service life that you and the others had. But I was wrong. I was kept with the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway and got to do passenger trains and freight work. Even if I did a little work, I still considered it a big deal and worth doing. You and I never met much and barely spoke, but we would exchange whistle salutes as we passed by. In towards the end of 1913, I was put to the side and retired. But that was short lived, and I was handed over to Sodor to help with the railway's growth. But I was in terrible shape, and being used so long, my parts were worn, and at the time, was difficult to repair. But what was worst of all was the way I was treated by the old controller. Throughout 1914, before the outbreak of World War I, I was treated badly by the people who did not know how to drive us engines properly. But that was because the controller assigned them to do that, to make them look like professional crew members. I never had any accidents while this happened, but I was so angry and embarrassed that I rapidly lost my pride and faith in who I was, and I went into a deep depression. Around early 1914, I was scolded and looked down by the old controller. The fact was that he never really understood how to run a railway and was only into money and greed. He later told me that after I was to take a night passenger train, I was going to be withdrawn and later sold for scrap. Mainly due to my parts being so old and overused a lot and not getting enough repairs done correctly. At this point, I was so upset and enraged, my pain burning out of control, and started to plot my revenge against the controller. I didn't know it until I left, but he was on board the coaches along with other passengers. Deep down, I knew what I was going to do. It cost me a heavy price. As I neared the station on my journey, my driver applied the brakes. But they failed and I sped up, going faster and faster. I refused to listen to my driver's pleas to stop. And after I got turned onto the wrong track and saw I was heading towards a cliff, I gave in to my hatred and pain and shouted out my last words, cursing and falling to my death, taking every soul with me. Including the controller who made my life a living hell. So, that's it. That's the reason why all this has, has happened ever since. You wanted revenge on the old controller who once used to rule this railway for treating you like the way he did. In the end, you got your revenge, but it cost you your own life. And all those people, I understand it.
I understand the pain and rage you had to suffer from. But surely, deep down, you had to regret what you did in shame and remorse. Those other people didn't deserve to die, and neither did your crew. It's time you put all this to an end and...